This is totally not me recording my Friday thrift finds video on the Friday that it's going to go up on YouTube. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. And today I have another episode of Friday Thrift Finds. I honestly can't remember if this is episode five or six, but it's one of the two you will know from the title. Um, but anyways, I have a thrift haul from last night because I didn't have anything to film for you for this week's video. So I went to the thrift store and I spent just under $100. It was like $98 or $99 in change. Um, and I didn't get too much stuff, just a little bit, but let's get started. All right, so first from the thumbnail video, you guys saw this pillow. Um, this is a personal pickup. I just really loved it. It's very textured and it kind of reminds me of like an African mud cloth print. Um, it's plain on the back and it doesn't have a zipper, unfortunately. So I will just steam this with my new steamer that I got last weekend when I went thrifting in Boston with Daniela. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you. I'm pretty sure it's over here um, when I'm filming this direction. But yeah, really excited for this. It's gonna go perfectly with my boho neutral decor. Okay, next is another personal buy. I have a mid-century modern elephant. I love elephants. I volunteered with them in Thailand and it was one of the best experiences of my life. The photo is right there. Um, but anyways, I digress. I just picked him up because I just needed to have him and there were two other ones but they had uh, trunks down which is not good luck uh, I wouldn't say it's bad luck but it's not good luck and uh, they were both missing their tusks so he has them intact and there's no branding or markings on him he's a little bit rough cut um, in like the belly area I don't know if that will come across on camera but it is very rough down here in the middle portion you can kind of see it there, but I love him and I can't wait to display him in my home. This is another really good find. This is a Squishmallow, as if you couldn't tell. Um, this is Tristan. He is a Triceratops, which is my personal favorite dinosaur. He does still have the tags. He is the 60 inch one um, and the retail price was $19.99 um, he's not going for that on eBay he's going for around 40 to 45 in this size so I'm excited to get him listed though I did pay up a little bit for him because they wanted $8.99 at my thrift store so couldn't leave him behind though he is adorable okay I think this is the only other non clothing or shoe item and I already linked this video in the cards but if you watch that video with Daniela I talked about about the Starbucks cups that I found and said we had found another one um, and it kind of looked like it had some stuff in the inside that we couldn't figure out what it was so we left it behind well I found the exact same tumbler um, that one had a purple lid this one is like a corally red color so it kind of looked to us in the store that it had like little pieces of paint that were somehow stuck within the mold of this cup but it is technically confetti and uh, that's how it's supposed to be sold so it is part of a color changing um group of cups i think there's like four or five in the pack that come with it this is one of them and it has a few different lids the purple one being one of them and this red one i would assume so um i'm gonna lock this up with the other two tumblers that are like this with the glitter confetti inside and just sell them on ebay all together but it was really ironic that i ended up finding this in the thrift store and i immediately sent a photo to daniela and was like you'll never guess what I just found in the thrift store. So I believe this was priced at $1.29, but I love picking up Starbucks cups. All right, now let's get into some clothing. Again, I spent a little under $100. Um, this first is cloth and stone, which I am picky with, um, but I will pick up their pants because their pants do better for me than their tops. Here is the label. These are a size small and they're just like a, I believe this is tensile. They kind of look like chambray, but I believe it's tensile and not any kind of denim material. 
and it's a wide leg pant not cropped just full leg okay next is a brand i've only found one other time uh they mostly sell swimwear i think um but i sold leggings in the past and this is another pair of leggings this is maji i don't know if i'm saying that correctly m-a-a-j-i these are a pair of full length activewear leggings high rise with like this very subtle kind of floral print pattern towards the bottom of the legs. Um, this is Patagonia, which believe it or not, I have been pretty picky with lately as well, but this is from summer of 2020, so not terribly old. This is a size small. And this is a um, yellow and white striped short sleeve top. And it's made from hemp and cotton. So very lightweight, perfect for the spring and summer. Next we have Helmet, Helmet Lang. I've never found Helmet, Helmet Lang. I've just found regular Helmet Lang. So I'm sure this is a diffusion line that does a little bit worse than the regular line. But worse comes to worse, I can send it into the real reel. This is a full zip jacket. It's got this interesting neckline with this little clip right here that just slips into um a ring it's a square ring um, but you can wear it either way with it open and flapped over or closed it's really nice fabric it feels very soft all right so i actually got two pieces from this brand i probably should have left them both they haven't been doing the greatest for me but they will still eventually sell this is a size large 100 percent linen it is flax and this is a button down jacket very lagging look definitely put that in the title if you sell this on ebay which is where i often sell my pieces the other flax piece is a pair of pants again 100 percent linen these are a small so i don't know if they were donated by the same person since one's a large and one's a small but there we go flax and these are a very pretty green color wide leg pant I do have a couple personal items in here. These next two are examples. Um, I don't know the brand on this because it is worn off. I think it says Spencer's. I'm pretty sure it says Spencer's. It's a size medium. It's very not appropriate, but that's okay. Um, yeah, just a graphic tee. I'll let you read that real quick and then move it away. Um, <laughs> next is a pair of Lululemon leggings. They are very dated and like the longest leggings I have ever seen. I don't quite know the story, but they're still going, they're still going and there's the end. So I don't know if they're supposed to be ruched up at the bottom, but they're in my size and these will just be my bum around doing house renovations or whatever leggings. I think this is the last personal item that I bought. Again, I don't know the brand. There's not even a remnant of the brand on here anywhere, um, but it's just a Ouija board tee and your girl loves Halloween, Halloween junkie through and through. So this is mine. Another pair of activewear leggings. This is Beyond Yoga. To be honest, I have better luck with the tops from this brand versus the leggings, but for the price point, I'm willing to try it out. Here is the logo here. It's a Lotus Blossom. These are a size small. Like I said, just leggings, um, full length, and they do have this really pretty colorful mesh panel on the front of each leg. So it's been quite a while since I picked up a sports bra in a thrift store, and mostly that's because they only just this week put out um, like tanks and tees and that kind of thing. So there hasn't really been much opportunity for me to find one, but I did find this one. And this is Athleta. Nice little racerback action. Here is the Athleta logo. And this is a size 32C. I haven't looked up the style name or anything yet. I literally just bought these last night and then I worked all day today. So I haven't had a chance to sit down and research it. All right, this is a brand um, I oftentimes leave behind, but the price point on this was good and it's uh, a semi-recent piece. This is Vince size small. 
The Real Real will take this brand. Um, sometimes they'll send it back to you, but just keep sending it in if you really want them to sell it for you. They don't price it super high unless it's like a cashmere sweater or something, you know, substantial, but they will eventually take it. You just have to send it in maybe a few times. But um, I will try to sell this myself first. It is a size small. It's a very lightweight long sleeve. Again, perfect for the upcoming transitional season. This I honestly just bought because it was $2.49 and I had a 30% off coupon for everything in this haul. This is Wild Fox, size extra small. And this is one of their um, BBJ's beach baggy jumper and it has the Eiffel Tower upside down. Like a very pale pink color. I'm not sure if that's coming across too well because I'm right in front of the window. Um, but yeah, it's really cute, really soft, and it is meant to look a little bit pilly. So if you find them in your store and you think it's just not in good condition, it's just how they are intended to be made. All right, I lied. I do have another piece that's for me. This is Wild Fable from Target. I love me some Wild Fable. And this is a very oversized cozy faux Sherpa jacket and I'm obsessed with it. This is for right now anyways, my Beth Dutton inspired jacket until I find the Beth Dutton jacket of my dreams. This next piece I learned about from Daniela who I just went thrifting with last weekend. This is Donna Karen, New York, which is technically DKNY. But the Donna Karen line of the overall DKNY brand is the higher end brand and you can send it into the real real, at least as far as Daniela has told me. And this is a size four, 100% rayon. I'm not sure how this will do. I don't know if I will try to sell it myself first. We will see, there's the label for you. And it is a very sheer bodysuit. It is a bodysuit. It has these really nice sleeves with the tie detail at the bottom of the cuffs and this ruffle at the neck and the back as well. So I'm excited to see what happens with that because I have never picked up just Donna Karen before. I've never picked up DKNY before, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And just one item left, and it's the only pair of shoes that I found. These were in the men's section. They are a smaller men's size. They're a size seven and a half, and they are the Nike Dunk High Pro. Um, and they are called the warmth package because they basically look like a sweater. Here is the Nike label from the tongue. Nike SB. I will also try to show you a close up of the fabric. Um, just note that it is intended to look this way. It looks like it needs a sweater shave in the worst way, but that's how they are supposed to look according to the research that I did in the store. So you can see it's kind of got a fuzzy texture, almost like tweed. So I'm really excited to get these listed because the comps, when I looked at them in the store, were $80 to $100. Um, the average was around probably $90. And yeah, uh, I don't know if they will be a fast sell because they're only a seven and a half men's, but we'll see. I also might try listing them under women's, even though this is not one of the more popular styles that women will wear. but. Either way, excited to find a good pair of sneakers and I personally love the gum bottom soles. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Friday Thrift Finds. I really hope that you're enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun putting it out there, even though it's sometimes stressful when I don't have stuff readily available to film and get into a haul. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye.